In this tutorial, we are going to find the surface area of a cylinder expressed in terms of pi. To find the surface area of any cylinder, we are basically finding the area of two circles and one rectangle. The formula 2 pi r squared plus pi dh will allow us to do just that. The first part of our formula, 2 pi r squared, will find the combined area of each of the cylinder circles. The second part of our equation, pi times diameter times height, will find the area of the rectangle that is wrapped around the side of our cylinder. Let's start with the first part of our equation, 2 pi r squared. Pi r squared is the formula to find the area of a single circle, but because we are finding the area of two circles, we simply write a 2 in front of pi r squared. Because the distance of our radius is 5, we are simply going to substitute 5 for the r or the radius. Because we are solving in terms of pi, do not substitute any value for pi. Leave pi as a symbol. Whenever solving any equation in terms of pi, it just means leave pi as a symbol and solve all other parts of our equation. Now let's deal with the part of the equation that will give us the area of the rectangle which surrounds the side of our cylinder. The first part of pi dh, or pi times diameter, is the formula to find the circumference of any circle. The circumference of a cylinder circle will also give us the value of the width of that particular rectangle that is wrapped around the cylinder. And the last term in our equation, the h, is the height of the cylinder, which is the other edge of our rectangle. So multiplying pi times diameter times height is really multiplying the long side of a rectangle by its short side. And we know that when we multiply the long side of any rectangle by the short side of a rectangle, the result will be the area of that rectangle. For this cylinder, the diameter is 10 inches, so we are going to substitute 10 inches for the variable d. And looking at our cylinder, we can see that it is 10 inches tall, so we are going to substitute 10 for the variable h. After you have substituted all known values for the radius, the diameter, and the height, we are now ready to solve in terms of pi. For the first part of our equation, simply square the radius. 5 to the second power is 25, and then multiply 25 by 2, which will give us 50 times pi which is the combined area of the two circles. And at the end of our equation, we are going to multiply 10 times 10, which gives us 100. So the area of the rectangle is 100 times pi. If we combine 50 and 100, that would give us a total of 150 pi. So the combined area of all three surfaces is 150 pi square inches. Because pi is very close to the value of 3, we can multiply 150 by 3 and say that the actual surface area is very close to 450 square inches. If you wanted to be even more accurate than 450, you could multiply 150 times 3.14 or by 22 sevenths if you express pi as a fraction. But because the problem asked us to express in terms of pi, we are going to leave our answer in terms of pi. And that is how you find the surface area of a cylinder.